Sometimes the people behind the scenes make a longer lasting impact than those in the spotlight. For the past 20 years, this man, Randy Powell, did most of the heavy lifting, sometimes literally, at Patton Park, where thousands of young soccer players practiced and played. Powell was Mr. Patton Park. When the Jacksonville Armada launched and began practicing there, there was no doubt whose park it was, even if it was owned by the city. Powell was the one who took pride in making each of the 12 fields as immaculate as possible, even with heavy play on the pitches. Powell passed away last night at the age of 64 after a battle with leukemia, but his impact on the local soccer scene will be felt for years to come. He was the first guy they hired to come in. Um, and like you said, we, we all had a, a joke about him that, that he had a cot in the back and that he lived here because he was first, first year, last to leave every single day, seven days a week. So the impact that he made on the park, um, as everybody knows that they came in, we, we, we think it's the best park in the city. You know, he took pride in, in the fields. But the bigger piece for me is how many players and, and families that he's touched in the soccer community. We have thousands of people that come through this park. And, and if you could imagine, he's been here since 2000. So how many <laughs> how many families and, and players that he's touched um, is, is amazing to think. I mean, everybody that thinks of Patton Park thinks of Randy Powell. And Randy was Mr. Patton Park in, in many ways. He was Mr. Jacksonville soccer and, and how he impacted and how many kids and players and coaches have gotten to know him over the years. Pretty remarkable to see the number of people who have expressed their condolences or said their heart is hurting today from the soccer community in Jacksonville. He was a guy who was always present and always making a difference. Kenton Mary.